What is up guys and welcome to the Chelsea player rating prediction. So we're going to start off with these three players, Begovic, Courtois and Gary Cahill. So let's start off with Begovic. So he has had a decent save, he made a decent save that saved Chelsea from losing from few games. But at the end of the day, he made a lot of mistakes as well. And I think he is going to get downgraded. Next up, Courtois, I put him down one as well because he definitely, it definitely wasn't his best season. He may even be 84 rated, I'm not too sure. He is not as solid as he used to be when he used to play for Atletico Madrid. Next player is going to be Gary Cahill and I think Gary Cahill is going to stay the same because even though he played poor some matches, he played well in some matches and scored some vital goals for Chelsea. Now moving on to the next three players is John Terry, Zuma and Ivanovic. So John Terry has obviously had a very bad season for Chelsea this season and then he's been con he's been apparently connected with the why Mourinho left and then he couldn't organise the Chelsea's defence when Mourinho was managing Chelsea. And then Zuma, I put him up, up to because Zuma's been fantastic, amazing, amazing season for Zuma until he unfortunately got a knee injury. But before then, Zuma was an amazing player. And Ivanovic, he was absolutely terrible when Mourinho was in charge for this season. But when Hidden came, he kind of got his game up. And but I don't, I don't think that he's gonna stay. I think he's gonna get still get downgraded one since he played pretty ball bad in the first half of the season. Next three players is gonna be Aspilicueta, Baba, and Jonah B. Mikel. Now Aspilicueta, who is apparently connected with Manchester United's transfer, hopefully Aspilicueta doesn't go because he is one of the one of the most hard-working players of Chelsea and I think he's gonna stay because well he hasn't had the best season but he was definitely one of the good players that performed for, for Chelsea last season and then the next player is going to be Abdullah Mbaba who obviously hasn't had the best season once again that's most of the Chelsea players but once again I think Baba is going to stay because well, he has been promising in few games. You know, putting that cross for Oscar. There was an amazing cross by Abdullah Mbaba. Next player, Mikel. Once again, inconsistent players. I mean, Isefa Aspilicueta, Baba and um, Mikel is very inconsistent. Mikel, he's, he's really, he's just amazing some games. But some games he just makes mistakes, which led to Chelsea's conceding of goals. So I just stayed him at 77. I think that's a reasonable rating for Mikel. Next player is going to be Hazard, Sesk and Willian. Now Eden Hazard obviously hasn't had the... He, he's had a pretty bad season. He only scored a few goals. Which is very poor for Hazard. And the player that got the Player of the Year award back in last season. Which was 14-15 season. That was a very poor season for Hazard. And he's not doing well in Euros either. That's why I think he's going to get downgraded to probably not more... Than two because he did manage to pick up his game a little bit at the end of the season. Next player is going to be Fabregas, who's going to get downgraded one because once again he's been he's definitely not like close to none of the players have been performing as when the last season, 14 15 season, when Chelsea won the league. And the next player is William, and this guy is actually pretty good. Now he played well in Copa America. I watched Brazilian plays, um. Copa America and then Willian was one of the most hard-working players there and hard-working player for Chelsea as well and he has managed to pick up five goals and six assists which is brilliant for Willian and he's a winger he just works hard his free kicks are accurate that's why I put him to 84 rated the next players are going to be Matic, Pedro and Oscar now Matic obviously has had a very bad season and I don't think his combination with Mikel hasn't worked very well. Once again, Matic is connected with Manchester United, so we could see some transfers from Chelsea to Manchester United here. Someone like Matic could move, as Pliquera could definitely move. Next player is going to be Pedro, who has got 7 goals and 2 assists. And if you look at the stats, it is not very bad stats. That is why I think Pedro is going to be stayed at 83 rating, because... He hasn't had the best season, like he's not as good as he used to be in Barcelona and apparently he wants to go back to Barcelona. But I think he's pretty good at Chelsea, he's decent when Hazard was out of form. Pedro was there working hard with Willian. And the next player is Oscar, who I downgraded him 
two downgrades because Oscar just cannot pick his game up. He's too inconsistent and I downgrade him by two because 84 is just too much for him. I guess 82 is a bit reasonable for Oscar because he's only got three goals and three assists this EPL season. And he really needs to keep his game up if he wants to stay at Chelsea because I don't think Antonio Conte would really like to use Oscar if he cannot pick his game up. Next players are going to be um, Costa, Remy and Falcao. Now even though Falcao is obviously his loan has expired, he's going back to Monaco. I'm just going to talk about his rating since he... That they played absolutely horrendous. Starting with Diego Costa, he has been involved in a lot of fights, a lot of a lot of arguments and stuff, and Costa definitely hasn't been the best player, even though he did manage to get himself 12 goals and 6 assists for the club. If you look at the stats, that's not too bad, but Giroud is 82 rated, and he's got 16 goals. So if you compare Diego Costa with other players, then his rating should definitely go down to 84, or maybe, I think 84 is a reasonable rating for Costa. Next player, Remy, once again, just unable to pick his game up, only got one goal, and he has mu missed few very vital chances, he just lost his confidence when I saw him play, he just wasn't confident in the ball, he kept losing the ball, that's why I put him down to 279 rated player. And then Falcao is going to get downgraded too. And well, Falcao is just having a very, he's having a nightmare of a season. And I, I don't really hate Falcao because I think he's a good guy. He like tries hard. He's like, he, he's a bit like Torres now. Hopefully, if he goes back to Atletico Madrid somehow, if the transfer works out, hopefully he can you know, start scoring goals again and see the Falcao we used to see back in the days. And the next player is going to be the youth players, Robin Luftuschik. Kennedy and Traore. So Kennedy has been pretty decent. He has managed to score his game for the club. Like he played left back, so I don't know. It, it would have been pretty confusing for himself, you know, playing left back, not usual his position. But I think he's gonna go up very high rating to seventy five rated. He's gonna be a gold because he's gonna he he was a very promising player, and so is Traore, scoring two and the one assist, which is more than Remy and Falcao. Next player is going to be Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who's going to get bumped up to 70 rated because he's a very promising player. And then I think if Fabregas leaves, Loftus-Cheek would be a good replacement, maybe with some other sentiments because he's not very experienced yet. But anyways, this will be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and goodbye.